Hi everyone, this is my new to me 2015 Toyota Prius that um, I bought to replace my 2012 Prius that was hit by lightning. Um, I had thought about upgrading to like a, a even a Prius V just for the extra space or a RAV4 hybrid, which is probably what I'll likely do next, but I'm really not sure. Um, I even test drove a, a, a Toyota Sienna hybrid van, um, which was crazy roomy and nice, but also really pricey. Um, but in the end, it is August right now, and I just really didn't want to spend um, time during the summer, in the summer heat, trying to rebuild a bed platform and just redo things. So I ended up getting just another third generation Prius, which I really love anyway. Um, as far as being able to stealth camp and that sort of thing, I, I really think that this Prius beats all my other options that were also more expensive as well. Um, and I'm actually camped, I'm like stealth camping here lately. I've been in this Prius for about seven days. It took me a while to get the, the Prius, um, get some of the issues fixed. It had a lot of problems when I bought it and then get everything transferred over. But I'm actually not stealth camping right now. I'm at this really neat campground um, that is covered, which is awesome because it's been raining all day today. Um, it has this little fireplace, even though I'm in New Mexico and there is a fire ban right now. Um, and then, you know, a little picnic table and stuff. And this is what it looks like set up. I've changed probably a few things um, since I did my full tour, um, video a few months back, just some things that I changed, um, just from being in it so much, realizing that I need just to switch things up a little bit so that things are easier to reach and that sort of thing. Take a look inside. This is the front here. Um, like I said, I've been in it about a week, so this is what it looks like. It's a mess. I don't think I've ever shown you guys the front. The floorboard there is packed with clothes that are in. Th those are my off-season clothes, like my winter clothing um, that are in the floorboard. And then most of my other clothing is there. And then most of the changes that I made um, were back here. I'm trying to think. I did add a fridge here, a little mini fridge. Um, I moved my inverter switch up here. It just didn't make sense. I did have it back behind where that pillow is, but as you can see here, like when, I, when I'm not stealth camping and I'm in a campground, I like to have the um, hatchback open. Usually I'm up against some water or something like that, but this is nice too. And I've been able to stay in here like under the cover while it rained all day. So anyway, it doesn't make sense to have that switch behind the pillow there which is where it was before I'm trying to think what else um I got bit rid of my big water container um that I had here it actually busted on one of the really bumpy BLM roads um I spent about a month in Colorado earlier this year and the roads are rough um so anyway now I'm just using a little gallon um, here and it's just much easier to refill too so um, I think that's really about it. I started sticking things to the side of the fridge because I realized small things would get lost here. Um, this is just the lid to the gallon jug there. And I think that's it. Just thought I'd show you guys um, the new car. So what I did was as I was putting the bed platform um, into the new car, I just recorded and kind of put some commentary in there, um, here and there, just to kind of give you guys a little bit more detail about how the bed platform is made and just to show a little bit more detail because a lot of you guys had asked about that. So anyway, if it doesn't make sense, <laughs> feel free to leave a comment. Um, I started the video. I didn't show taking out the, um, the back seat because I feel like um, other people, there are a bunch of other videos on YouTube that show it better. Um, and then I also forgot to start recording then. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are other videos that'll show you how to do that. I start with, I started recording when I put um, a floor covering, which I just bought a, a yoga mat on Amazon. Um, and so I use that, f I use the Amazon like um, yoga mat and just kind of cut it to fit the floorboard where the um where the back seat used to be 
just to protect the wires and stuff. And you'll see that um, in the video. But anyhow, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.
So for my toilet and my Prius, I used the Clean Waste Portable Toilet. I had to modify it. Um, I'm gonna do a couple things to make it work for this. But first, let me see if I can get flipped over. The first thing I did is um, I cut off the legs. It had three legs here, here, and here that folded out um, because it was meant to be used, you know, on the ground, on a flat surface. Um, so I cut those off so that I could just set it in this area here. Um, so the front rests on this part here and these here, I don't know what these are called, um, but I found these at my dad's <laughs> building and um, they just hold it in place in the front so that it doesn't slide around. And the back is supported on this and I have the little clip here um, to hold it in place. I was gonna add a clip here too, but it's such a snug fit with just the three. Um, I didn't want to make it hard to get in and out and it's fully supported. I used it a bunch now and not had any problems. So anyway, that was the first thing that I did. I'm gonna turn back over here. Um, the other thing is it had, let's see if I can get a good angle here. It had tabs right here and right here. So you had, and they were really hard to push in. So you had to push in the tabs here with, so you had to use two hands and then lift it up. Um, and so I also, it was a messy cut, but I cut those off too, just so that it's easy um, to open and close. And I've never had any problems with it popping open when I didn't want it to, you know, driving down the road or anything like that. So, and let's see, so it opens like that. And as you can see, the whole <laughs> lid will come off completely if you want it to. It doesn't ever do that here because of this, this wall that I have behind it. Um, but yeah, it does do that. <laughs> um, and then you lift up right here. Um, and you can see there's like a little mesh net there and then you put the bag um, inside of it. Um, so yeah. That's it. Um, I may have to put the phone down actually, I think, to fit it in there and put the bag in there to show you the rest. So yeah, I did have to put the phone down to get it on there. Um, so yeah, those two little things hold it in place here, and then I have the one back here that you can see. And so it just, it doesn't slide around at all, and so I actually sit on this. I use this as a seat when I'm not using it as a toilet, but anyway, so this lifts up here. And like I was saying, it doesn't ever pop off like it did in the video um, just now. That was because it has this, this wall to, to rest against. So I put the bag in. Um, and I keep this mesh one in there just for support, but you can see I have some extra supplies that I keep in here. Um, and then, so you just put the bag in like this and then you put the toilet seat down. And one thing that I like about this, one of the reasons why I chose this one from the, the many, many that I researched during this process was because the way it lays um, here, there's no chance of, um, any spillage <laughs> getting up under the seat and causing any odor or anything or any mess like that. Some of the other ones that I looked at had the bag really hanging on a ring on the outer part. Um, and so it just, it, it made, um, it left potential for getting under the seat here dirty. Um, but this one didn't do that. So it's one of the many reasons why I chose this one. Um, so in, anyway, I use this poo powder here um, that I get on Amazon. So I don't know why they call it poo powder because it really works for urine. Um, I don't really test it for poo. So anyway, put that, put it in. I just put a scoop in like that and I have just water um, to put in here um, just to show you kind of how it works. Um, so anyway, it solidifies liquid and then also helps with odor too. So what I do, I try to use just one bag a day. So what I do is when I put in a new bag, I put a scoop in and even if I'm going to drive around for a little bit, I'll, you know, I'll add more, um, more powder if I feel like it's not solid enough, but I've never had any issue with any splashing or any odor or anything like that. Now when I do my number twos, I do bag it up immediately after. So I don't really know how much it would help with, um, with odor for number twos. Um, imagine it wouldn't do a great job though, honestly, just because uh, the main thing that it does is it turns the liquid to solid. So I'm not sure, you know, how that would really help. Um, 
with the number twos, but I, this, I know this is all way <laughs> too much information, but I'm fortunate enough that, you know, I go once a day. So after my number, my daily number, um, number two, I, I go ahead and bag it up and then start over with a new bag. But as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, so that little bit of water, it's really just turned it into, um, this little kind of gel thing and it actually feels I mean it feels fairly dry to the touch um, and so yeah it doesn't it doesn't splash around so even if I'm driving around um, with some pee in here it doesn't cause any problems with the um, odor or any kind of spilling um, I do usually double um, bag like I'll put a bag in and then I'll actually put some powder in and then put another bag in um, with some more powder just in case there's any leaks I've never had any issues with any um but that's one thing I don't want to take any chances on so I, I do usually double bag those and I think that's it as far as the toilet oh I ended up putting mounting my um fire extinguisher here and really that was just because it was easily accessible there and I was going to actually my original plan was to close this part in um and I just realized that I, I couldn't access what's under the toilet because I actually do use the space. There's nothing in here right now, but I put my extra um, baby wipes and bags and that sort of thing up under it. Um, but anyway, I realized I couldn't reach that as well. Um, I wouldn't be able to if I actually close this in like I originally planned to. So it was at this part during the build that I decided to just take a break from working on it and actually spend um, a couple nights in, in the um, Prius. Um, I hadn't actually ever spent the night in it before I reached this point. So I mainly wanted to make sure that the bed was large enough um, and that I could also sleep through the, the um, turning on and off of the engine throughout the night because I didn't know if that was something I would be able to, to deal with. Unfortunately, I was able to get used to it, so it wasn't an issue. Um, so when I stopped and spent the night, I had planned on, um, like I said, closing this in. I'd also wanted to, I had ambitious um, plans, but I wanted to put a little door here, some way to open, like, I was thinking probably like something that would fold up um, here so that I could access that. I was going to do um, a, a panel wall there on the front. I was going to make this front part that extends past here fold back. Um, and then on the other side, I'll go to the other side in a minute. I was actually gonna close that in too. So basically this whole section, I was gonna close in with walls and doors. Um, and it just, it made sense in my head, but then once I spent the night in it and realized that I mean, really you can't see very much um, of it open and just realized that would just be more work, um, more added weight, it would actually make it more difficult for me to reach my stuff. Um, so from here, you can see I have my food powder. I usually keep um, just clothing and stuff like that right here too. Um, so it, it really didn't make sense to, to do anything else. So I actually just kind of stopped here as far as the build goes. Um, I was actually pretty pleased with it as is. Now I'll walk around to the other side too, just to show you the room that's in it. And then of course here as well. So there's a good amount of space here. Um, I actually did initially have something here that folded over to cover this, um, but it really didn't add anything. It was just one more thing that kind of got in the way. Um, I also kind of have it tucked in like this. Um, actually, I meant to mention earlier before I put this back that if you haven't checked your hybrid um, battery fan filter that it's under here and so if you're doing anything like this, it's good to check that. So there's um, the bolt there that you undo and then you just pull up here and then there's the filter. I don't know if you can see it um, here. Not all Priuses have it. Um, this one did and it was really disgusting. So I took it out and cleaned it and put it back. This is a 2015 Prius. Um, my previous one was a 2012. It did not have one inside here but it had one or I bought one actually that you could clip on the outside here 
um, and I may actually do the same thing for that this one because it's just it's harder to, to access um, but yeah definitely check that if you're gonna be taking your Prius apart anyway for something like this so I think that's it um, one of the things I was hesitant like I was hesitant to even show anyone this build um, for a lot of reasons I mean it's it's sloppy woodwork <laughs> for one I'm not really proud of how it looks um, I really tried way too hard to use just scraps um, I was working on this at my parents house so I tried to use just scrap wood that they had around the house so if I had it to do over that's definitely one thing I wouldn't have worried about. I would have just gone to Lowe's um, and, and bought what I needed. Another thing is, if I had it to do again, which I, I may rebuild at some point, um, as I wouldn't use, I used two by fours for a good bit of it, um, which is just way overkill for, for this application. Um, it doesn't need that, um, that thick of wood. It probably could have gotten away with like, probably one by threes. Um, it's just a lot of added um, extra weight. And then also, I mean, it's a small space, so it would have been nice to not have, um, to have a little bit more, even though it wouldn't have added a whole lot more room. It would have been nice to have a little bit of extra um, storage space. Like, as you can see, it's, even though it's a relatively small amount of wood, I mean, really every quarter of an inch counts um, here. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. Oh, the other thing. I think this is where I was going with that. Um, whatever you do as far as your build, make sure that you're um, not covering the, um, the hybrid battery fan here. So, or fan filter, that is. All right. I think that's it. I think I've covered all the basics. Hopefully that this answers kind of some of the questions that you had about the um about the bed and toilet platform if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below thanks